Yeah, you're good. I can only see you. Okay. All right, ladies, we're going to start on our back. Feet wide, knees touching. So on our back, feet wide, knees touching at the top, letting them rest against each other. Arms off to the side, a comfortable distance, either facing up, taking the energy in from the sky, or even palms down, if that's comfortable for you, taking the energy from the earth. Allowing your breath to become even and full. And take your right hand and place it on top of your chest base, right in your heart area. And as you take an inhale, really fill up that chest area. Puff the heart out nice and big. Pause at the top and then exhale it all out. Again, inhale through that chest space, filling it up as big as possible, holding it in at the top, and then breathing it out. Typical Ujjayi breath is through the nose, in through the nose, and out through the nose. But if you're feeling a little congested or having difficulty breathing through the nose, there's nothing wrong with mouth breath either or a combination of the two. It's just being mindful of the breath that it is that you are using. And take the left hand and place it on the lower belly. This time, send the inhale into that lower belly, filling up the whole belly space. Pausing at the top and exhaling it all back out. Inhale, fill that belly. Pausing at the top. Exhale, release. Leave the hands where they are, but this time send the breath into the back space, seeing if you can fill up your back, feeling it press against your mat and on the ground. The belly and chest are gonna lift some, but they don't lift much. Expanding across the back of the rib cage, expanding across the lower thorax, and exhaling out. Our chest, our belly, and our back make up the three areas of a three-part breath. What we're going to do on our next inhale, we're going to inhale a little into the chest, a little bit more into the back, and then even more into the belly. You're like one big puffed marshmallow. We pause at the top, and then we exhale it out in reverse. Belly, back, chest. We repeat. We inhale through the chest. Then the back, then the belly, pausing at that top, enjoying our puffed marshmallow state. And then we exhale in reverse, belly, back, chest. Take two more breaths like that on your own.
remembering that our breath is our life force. It's our energy. It's what allows our bodies to do anything. Without having oxygen, our muscles would not be able to bend and move and stretch and flex. So as you go through your practice, if you find yourself having difficulty breathing, come back to this three-part breath. Even if you have to stop whatever pose you're in and go back to thinking about filling up that chest, the back, the belly, and reversing it back out, the belly, the back, the chest. On the next inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Just stretch them out nice and long. And on the exhale, take a sigh and bring the hands back down to the side. Separate the knees at the top and start to rock them side to side like a windshield wiper, allowing space between them. And then when you're ready, let those legs settle in on the left. If it's comfortable for you, you can take that left foot and place it on top of the right upper thigh to give you a slightly deeper stretch. But we don't want to pull too much just yet. We're just getting started. If it feels good for you, you can reach the right arm up overhead, giving an extra side body stretch and breathing into that right body space. If you have your left foot on top, go ahead and bring that left foot back down to the mat. On the inhale, make sure you engage the score to bring the knees up and then drop them over to the right. Bring your knees up, warm on up, bring your knees up. Feel that? Yeah. Then drop them. If you want to put that right foot on top of the left thigh, I can't remember if I said this already, feel free. Does that help? You can extend that left arm up overhead if you'd like the left side body stretch. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Breathing into that left side space, especially the left hip, giving it some love on this Saturday morning. Go ahead and release the right foot. Engage the core, bring the knees back up through center. Keep them about hip bone width apart and bring the arms down to the side. Walk the heels in just a little bit. You should just about be able to touch your heels with your fingers to know. And we're gonna take a first bridge of the day. So we're gonna take a nice inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift that, those hips up in our Care Bear stare, pressing them high, arching the lower back, allowing the neck to remain long. And take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower one vertebrae at a time, rolling the back back down onto the mat. We're gonna place the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop to the side, making sure that our lower body, our lower back is still against the mat. We don't wanna arch it up again. So maybe your knees don't go too far. You can bring hands overhead, arms and opposite elbows if that's comfortable for you. Taking one more inhale here. And on the exhale, we're gonna release the arms, bring the feet back to hip bone width. We're gonna take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift up again. See if you can lift a little bit higher this time. <clears throat> if you need to, lift that head to extend the neck long. Try not to crunch in that throat space. Then on the inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Bring the arms up along you nice and slow. 
and can you bring them up next to your ears? If they don't quite make it down to the mat, that's okay. Hmm. Take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring the arms back down and we're gonna roll one vertebrae at a time back down to the mat. And then quickly just windshield wiper those legs side to side again to release that tension. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna roll onto our right side using that top hand to push ourselves up to a seated posture. Making sure we're nice and tall on our sit bones. Okay. In whatever seated position is comfortable for you. Um, we're on concrete, Alana, I don't know what you're on. So if anybody needs to sit on a block, because sometimes it's a little bit more comfortable to sit on a block when you're on concrete, it also allows your hips to open a little bit more if you sit up on that block. But you wanna be nice and comfortable. Don't cross the feet over one in front of the other. Hands are on our knees. Back's nice and tall, like we have a hook on the top of our head pulling us up towards the sky. And we're gonna take a nice inhale, lift the arms up overhead. And exhale, push it out. One more time, bring the arms up on the inhale. Exhale, push it out. Leave the right hand down on the mat on the inhale, bring the left hand up. Place it on top of the head. And then slowly on the exhale, tilt that neck to the left. Don't pull too hard. Your hand, hand is just there, it's a little bit of extra gravity. Inhale, bring the head up, extend the left arm. On the exhale, drop it down. We'll inhale the right arm up overhead. Place it on top of our head. And on the exhale, just let that neck fall to the right. We're going to inhale, lift our arm up, return our head to center, and exhale, bring the arm down. This time on the inhale, I want you to look up until it's comfortable for you. Some people can't, aren't comfortable extending those little muscles, so don't strain it. And on the exhale, we're going to look down. Inhale, we look up. Exhale, we look down. Being mindful that it's only the neck that's moving. Don't arch that body as you look down. It's only the neck. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. And inhale, return to center. Inhale, the arms up overhead. On the exhale, we're gonna drop the left hand behind, right knee to the right hand to the right, left knee. Right hand, left knee, we're gonna to twist to the left. Looking over our left shoulder. Using every inhale to sit just a little bit taller and every exhale to twist just a little bit further. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale, bring the arms and body back to center. And on the exhale, we're gonna to twist to the other side. Inhale, bring the arms back up to center. And on the exhale, drop them down to the side. Go ahead and extend your legs out in front. Maybe rock from side to side to get up on those sit bones or even just shake those legs out from having them bent. 
Inhale the arms up overhead. And reach the arms forward towards your toes, hinging at the hips, trying not to arch that back, really shining that heart space forward. And if you can, bind those first two fingers with your big toes. Really pressing that heart space forward. And on the exhale, fold. Can you get your knees or your head to touch your knees? If those hamstrings start to shake, it's okay to bend the knees or back off the stretch. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, fold forward one more time. Inhale, sit all the way up. Send the left leg out to the side, bring the right knee into the thigh. <clears throat> Keeping the body facing forward, lift the right arm up overhead and arch it to the left. You can reach your left toes if you'd like, or hold your ankle or your thigh, whatever you want to do with that arm. Really trying to look up under that right armpit, trying not to let that shoulder fall forward. Inhale, reach up. This time, bring both arms overhead and actually make the physical twist to face that left leg. Reach forward. Inhale, reach up. Return to center. Drop the hand. Swap the leg. Right leg extends. Left foot comes into the thigh. We're keeping our body facing forward. You can put that right hand just anywhere it wants on your right leg. We're inhaling the left arm up and arching over to the right. You should be able to feel that side body stretch from the top of your shoulder all the way down to your hips making sure that front shoulder doesn't fall in so we look up over our armpit. It just helps pull that heart space up. Inhale, reach both arms up. Turn to face that right leg and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring the arms up and down beside you and shake those legs out and we're going to move into our tabletop. Um, since we're on concrete, you might want a little extra knee space. Feel free to fold your mat in a little bit just to give your knees a little bit more cushioning as we come into that tabletop position. <clears throat> when we're in our tabletop, knees are under our hips, shoulders are in line with our wrists. Back is flat. On the inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, lift the chest. And on the exhale, we're gonna round it all out like a cat. Inhale, drop the belly, raise the chest for your cow. And exhale, round it out like a cat. Inhale. For a couple more cat cows, why don't we do three? Three cat cows on your own. And after your third cat cow, we're gonna return to our neutral tabletop, neutral spine. Good. Your gaze is slightly in front of your wrist, about six inches in front of that mat, because if we look between our hands, our heads fall down and we have a tendency to crunch into our shoulders. So looking out in front keeps our head out of our shoulders, head out of our ass. <laughs> Extend the left leg behind you, keep the toes on the mat. Press through the heel, feel the strength of the body and the length that's there and raise the right arm out in front. Your one long arrow toes are on the ground. 
Inhale, lift that left leg. Point the toe, stretch out through the fingers. On the exhale, crunch elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. One more time, inhale, extend. Keep the left leg pointed out. Bring the right arm back down to the mat. Bring the left leg over to the left. Flex the toes. We lift and lower. Lift and lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the left leg back out behind. Kickstand the right knee, peel open on the left side, half moon. Feel that stretch like someone's pulling the top left hand on a string. Foot is flexed out the back. Shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. Bring the left hand back down to the mat. Pull that right knee back in, left leg still extended. Point the toes, lift it up and lower and up and lower for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release that left knee back in. Take a moment to wiggle those hips if needed. <clears throat> Returning to neutral tabletop, send that right leg back behind you. Keep the toes down, push out through the heel. You may feel this in your hamstring, you might feel it in your calf. It's gonna be different depending on your body. Extend the left arm out in front, keeping the left, uh, right leg down. Lift that right leg, point the toe. Extending in both directions. Take a nice inhale, and on the exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. One more time, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend back out, place the right arm back down on the mat. Right toes point, right leg comes out to the side. We lift and lower. Lift and lower, trying to keep those shoulders and hips square for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that leg back to the back, point the toe and lift and lower. Oh, I skipped half one, I'll go back to that. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it level, kickstand that left leg down, peel open for that half moon, toes are flexed. Feeling the body being pulled in all directions, knowing that we're strong here. Exhale, bring the right hand back down to the mat. Right knee back down to the mat. Wiggle it out if needed. Sit back for a child's pose. Return your mat to its normal position. <clears throat> We're gonna come back up into our tabletop and tuck our toes behind us. Lifting those knees ever so slightly off the mat, engaging the core, feeling the belly button pulled towards the spine, and then send the hips up nice and high. Coming down on our heels if we can for our first down dog of the day. Remembering that in that first down dog, we might not actually get our heels to the mat, and that's all right. Knees can be bent. Just make sure that shoulders are away from the wrists. Walk out your dog. 
Extend the right leg up behind you. Keep the hips square. Look between the hands, come up on those left toes. Step the right foot forward. Runner's lunge, using blocks if needed. Ramona Juni blocks. You'd be lucky I threw the foam ones. <laughs> Remembering that the blocks just brings the floor up to us. It allows a little less compression in the belly space. Feel long here in our runner's lunge. Feel the stretch out through our heel, just like we did when we were in tabletop before. And when you're ready on the inhale, rise up to crescent lunge. Make sure those shoulders are away from ears. Hips are square. Shoulders are square. I'm gonna face this way. Cactus those arms, and then take a slight back bend. Inhale, rise up. On the exhale, drop the right arm behind, reach the left arm forward, west side stretch. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, drop those hands to the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Lower slowly, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring the left leg up high. Keep the hips square, point the toes. If you brought your left leg up the last time, go ahead and bring the right leg up this time. As long as you're doing the other side. Look between your hands, come up on those right toes. Step the left foot forward, runner's lunge. Again, use the blocks if needed. You can use the blocks all the way through chaturanga if that's comfortable for you. Feeling the stretch out the top of the head all the way down to the bottom of the heel. And when we're ready on the inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Slight flexion in that back knee. Bring the hands down behind us, interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders down the back. Look up towards the sky. Release those hands. Inhale, crescent lunge. On the exhale, drop the left arm back, reach that right arm forward, west side stretch. So you're, yeah. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower chaturanga. Inhale to that upward facing dog. Pull back downward facing dog. So Karen, you can either, the goal is like low push up, and then you shift into up dog, or you can go knees come down, chest comes down, Chin comes down, it's eight points, two feet, two knees, two hands, and it's chest and chin. Yeah, and your butt's way up in the air. There you go. And then you sort of shift forward into a little cobra. Like that, yep. And then when you go into your down dog, you go through tabletop. So those are your options. You can do either one at, at either time. Okay. All right, let's lift that right leg up behind us. Bend the knee and spin it open. Look underneath that right armpit, looking up towards the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. Look between the hands. Come up on those left toes if you need to. Step the right foot between the hands. Runner's lunge. Drop the back foot 45 degrees. Rise up. Warrior one. Front leg is over the ankle, making sure it's not falling in, always making sure that knee is right on. Exhale, drop the hands behind, interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders down the back. Hinge forward, humble warrior. Legs are strong. 
if I came around and tried to push you right now, you should not be able to fall over. Weight is in the entire front foot and along the back edge of the back foot. Release the hands. Rise up, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Back foot now becomes parallel to the mat. Hips are open. Shoulders are open. You should be able to just see the front big toe over your knee. Again, making sure that that knee's not falling in, keeping it nice and out. Inhale, rise up, five-pointed star, both toes point out. Beautiful. Place your hands on your hips. Hinge the body forward. Bring the hands to the mat. Adjust your feet as needed for comfort. So it's not always comfortable to leave the toes out. Just like swim together. <coughs> Excuse me. Hands are on the mat in front of you. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale, flat back. On the exhale, fold as far forward as you can. <clears throat> Maybe your head comes down to the mat. Inhale up to a flat back. Leave the left hand under your face. Extend the right arm up for a twist. Beautiful. Using that block if needed. We're looking up at those fingers. Exhale, bring the right hand back down below the face. Extend the left hand. Making sure the twist comes from the inner belly. Leaving our hips square. Good adjustment, Ramona. Exhale, bring that left hand back down. Engage the belly muscles. Keep the back flat. Bring the hands to the hips. Use our all, nothing but core and back strength to lift ourselves back up. Extend the arms, five-point star. Point the right toes forward. Drop the arms, warrior two. Good, adjust the feet as needed. Drop the right arm to that right thigh. Reach forward, side angle. Popped up on my computer, I don't know. <clears throat> Inhale, rise up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Lower chaturanga or even keep that right foot extended, ekapada. Inhale to that upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Inhale the left leg high. Bend the knee and spin open. Look between your hands. Come up on those right toes if you need to. Step the left foot between the hands. Runner's lunge. Drop the back toes. 40, or back heel 45 degrees. Rise up, warrior one. Bring your, toe, your back toes a little bit in. Yeah, that's better. Cactus those arms. Goal post those arms. Look up towards the sky. Inhale, rise up. Open, warrior two. Back leg is parallel to the, or the foot is parallel to the mat. Same 90 degrees in the front. Inhale, rise up, five-pointed star. Exhale, place your hands on your hips. Fold forward. Now that my ass is in the video, sorry, Alana. Come down as far as you can. If you can get your head to the mat, then feel free to come up into a tripod. If you can't, try to take your hands and touch the outside of the feet. Maybe that'll help get your head a little bit farther. Use a block if you want. If you can't quite get your head down, but you want to feel like your head is down, then put your head on a block. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring the arms out to the side. Feel the body, feel the power of your back and your core. 
lift up five pointed star. Shift those left toes forward. My star's a little too wide. Warrior two. <laughs> Adjust the feet as needed. Drop the left arm on the thigh. Side angle stretch. Inhale, rise up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill those hands down. Chaturanga, left foot steps back to meet the right or keep that left foot extended, Ekapada. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. <clears throat> Bend the knees, come up on the toes, look between the hands, hop or step to the front of the mat, fold forward. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips. Inhale, sweep the arms behind or next to your ears, Ukatasana. Sit lower like you're sitting in a chair. If it compresses your lower back, if you feel that lower back being compressed, use your hands to just rotate that pelvis forward. Everybody feels a little bit differently here. Make sure shoulders are away from ears. Sink a little lower. Exhale, fold through heart center. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Drop the hips. On the inhale, come up, Bukitasana. Place the hands at heart center. We're in a twist to the left. Knees stay in place, hips stay in place, just the upper body twist. Shift the weight into your right foot. Lift the left leg. Send it behind you. Half moon like we did on the mat. Open your arms if you'd like. Use a block if you need. Beautiful. Okay. If you fall out, just come back in. Holding your half moon, bend that front knee, step slowly back, warrior two. Inhale to your gentle warrior. Exhale, warrior two. It's not very yoga to kill the bugs that's crawling on you. <laughs> <clears throat> Straighten that front leg, kick the left hip back, reach as far forward as you can, come down triangle. Maybe lift that lower arm, extra core work. <clears throat> Release the arm. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, windmill the arms down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Scissor the heels to the right. Lift the left arm, side plank. Exhale, bring the left hand back down to the mat. Lower chaturanga, eight point posture, or pull straight back into downward facing dog. <clears throat> Breathing here, grabbing a drink of water if you need it. Bend the knees, come up on the toes, look between the hands. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Fold forward, bend. Inhale to a halfway lift. 
Exhale and fold. Drop the hips a lot. Inhale, rise up, Utkatasana. Hands come to heart center. This time we twist to the right. Shift the weight into the left foot. Lift that right one behind. Extend it behind you, half moon. Hands can stay at heart center or they can open. Use a block if needed. If you fall out, just get back into it. Bend the front knee. Step slowly back. Warrior two. Inhale, gentle warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Kick that right hip back as far as it'll go. Reach far forward, and when you can't go anymore, calm down triangle. What is that? No, oh. no, we're almost done. Lift that lower arm if you'd like a little extra core strength. Bring the arm back down. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, windmill those hands down. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Scissor the feet to the left. Lift that right arm, side plank. Exhale, bring the right hand back down to the mat. Lower chaturanga, eight point posture, or pull back into your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Keeping feet about hip bone distance apart, use your two hands, place them in their opposite elbows, hang for a ragdoll. Bring the hands back to the mat, heel toe those feet together. Bend the knees a lot, place the hands on the knees, come rolling on up. Standing. My hands are filthy. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale to heart center. Shift the weight into the right foot. Hinge the body forward as the left leg comes up. Warrior three. Hips are square. You're looking down at the mat about a foot and a half in front of that right foot. Inhale, hinge the body back up. Bring the left leg through, lift the arms overhead, one leg and mountain. Step that left foot forward. Um, rotate the right arm. So you can lift that right leg, dancer. Release the right hand and right foot. We'll lift it up one-legged mountain. Sorry, step it forward. <laughs> Bring the left foot to the um, calf or the inner thigh for your tree. Bring the hands to heart center. Release the left foot in front. Send it behind you. Warrior three. Rotate the hips and shoulders, open the arms, half moon. Use that block if needed. Bend that front knee, step back, 
warrior too. <laughs> Inhale, gentle warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill those hands down to the mat. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Scissor open to the right. Extend the left arm. On the exhale, thread the left arm through. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, thread the needle. Pushing almost all the way back like you're in a down dog. Inhale, rise up. One more time, thread the needle. Inhale, rise up. Left hand comes back down to the mat. You lower chaturanga, eight point posture, or pull directly back into your downward facing dog. Breathing here. Let me change the direction of my mat for a minute. When we go through that balance sequence, I know it's hard to not look at what the person next to you is doing or what I'm doing. Just know that the more you look, the more wobbly you're gonna be. So find something that's not moving. Find, find, um, think you know these postures, you've worked through these postures. Trust yourself, trust your instincts. Find a drifty point that's not moving. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. If you can, place your hands underneath your feet. Massage out those wrists, Padahastasana. Or use your first two fingers to bind your big toes. Either one just gives us a minute to get off our wrists. Let the head hang. Release the hands, heel toe the feet back together. Bend the knees a lot, place the hands above the knees, come rolling on up to standing. Inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale to heart center. We're moving into our warrior three first. We shift our weight into our left foot. We're looking about a foot in front of our mat. That's not moving, a foot in front of your mat. We hinge the body like a T. Our eyes keep that drishti point. We don't watch the people around us because that's what makes us wiggle and wobble. If we can't get to a full T, that's okay. We get to where our body can go. But the toes are pointed down, legs are straight, back is straight. Beautiful. We rise up, bring that right knee in front, one leg in mountain. We step the right foot forward. We take a minute on that leg. Now it releases. We get a chance to shed our drishti again. We step up on the left toes. We reach the left hand back to grab that left foot. Dancer. Inhale, rise up. Release the hand and the foot. One leg in mountain. Step the left foot forward. Beautiful. Bring that right foot into the inner thigh or calf for your tree. Be mindful not to have the heel on the knee. Beautiful. We release the foot to the front. Hands come to heart center. We send that right foot back again for our warrior three. We find that drishti spot in our warrior three. We rotate our hips and shoulders. We can keep the hands at heart center if we want, or we open for that half moon. We bend that front knee. We step ever so slowly back into our warrior two. That was beautiful, ladies. Nice job. A lot I imagine yours is beautiful as well. Inhale, gentle warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse that warrior. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Scissor those heels to the left, lift that right arm. On the exhale, thread the right arm under, pull back almost like you're in a down dog. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, rise up. Place the right hand back down on the mat, lower chaturanga, or pull back, downward facing dog.
Inhale, come up on your toes. Send your hips up nice and high. Pull forward, high plank. Feel those belly muscles engage. Hold the high plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the left forearm down and the right forearm down. Hold that low plank for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the knees. Untuck the toes, drop the chest, bring yourself down to your mat. Arms are along your mat beside you. Chin is resting, toes are pointed. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the head and the chest. On the exhale, we release. Inhale, head and chest. Exhale, release. This time on the inhale, we're going to lift the head, chest, and the arms. Feet are still on the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, head, chest, and arms. Exhale, release. This time everything's coming up, head, chest, arms, and feet. Be mindful not to compress that lower back. If you feel that that lower back's being compressed, make sure you point your toes. Extend your legs a little bit longer. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, everything comes up. Be Superman for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release it all down. Windshield wiper those knees. Those feet back and forth. Release the tension in the lower back. Place the hands next to the chest. Tuck the toes. Come up through tabletop. Swing those knees out in front. Bring the arms out in front of you. And lower down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, all the way down. <sighs> Keep the right leg bent. Extend the left leg up in the air. Point and flex the toes. Couple of circles with those feet. Cross the left leg over the right. Left foot, I should say, over the right. Use your left hand to push your left knee away. Open up that hip space. Hold here or rock side to side. Lift the right leg, make the, uh, the stretch a bit deeper. Use your right hand to support that right leg. You can take your left hand and place it through if you'd like. Again, hold here or rock side to side or try a few circles. Drop the right foot back down to the mat. Cross the left leg all the way over. Send the arms out like a T. On the exhale, drop the legs to the right. Feel that eagle twist. If you need to, you can place a block underneath your knees. Trying to keep their shoulders flat against the mat. Engage the core. Inhale the legs up through center. Drop them over to the right. This is a nice lower back twist. If your knees don't make it all the way to the floor, that's okay. The goal is to keep the shoulders on the mat. Feel that twist in the lower back. Inhale, bring the knees back up. Extend the left leg. Give those toes one more point and flex. One more clockwise circle and counterclockwise circle. Return the left foot to the mat. Extend the right leg. Point and flex those toes. 
maybe a couple of circles. Cross the right foot over the left knee. Use your right hand to push away that knee. Remember, if your arms are short, we talked about those T-Rex arms the other day. If your arms are short, you can put a block on your thigh and put your hand on the block. It gives you a little bit more space, allows you to open that hip a little bit more. You can hold here or rock side to side, whatever is comfortable for you. We're coming to the close of our practice, so whatever your body is asking for is what we do. Lift that left leg. Feel that stretch a bit more. Again, holding here or rocking side to side. Maybe you choose to straighten the left leg. You want a full figure four. Bring the left leg back down to the mat. Cross the right leg all the way over. Send the arms out like a T. Drop the knees over to the left. Inhale, bring the knees up through center. Drop them on over to the right. Inhale, bring the knees back up through center. Extend that right leg. Point and flex the toes one more time. Clockwise circle one more time. Counterclockwise circle one more time. Bring the right foot back down to the mat. Extend the right leg long. Bring the left knee into the chest. Give it a good squeeze. Feel the compression in the lower body. Back off that compression a little bit and rock the leg from side to side. Squeeze the left leg back in again, this time more towards the armpit side. Get a side compression. Back off just a little. Use the right hand to pull the left knee across, left hand extends, head looks over the left arm, shoulders remain flat on the back, do full body twist. Wherever you can twist to is where you can twist to. Inhale, bring the left knee back in. Give it one last good squeeze. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, send the left leg long, arms overhead, full body stretch, side out. Bring the right knee into the chest. Give it a nice tight squeeze, feel the compression there. Release a little off that compression, rock the knees from side to side. Squeeze the knee in towards the um, armpit on that right side body. Release that compression, drop the right arm to the side, use the left hand to bring the right knee over. Look over that right shoulder, full body twist. Inhale, bring the knee back to center. Exhale, give it a nice tight squeeze in. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, send the right leg long, arms overhead, full body stretch, side out. Allow the arms to come back down beside you. Allow the feet to splay to either side. Find that comfortable Shavasana position. Maybe you return to how we started with the feet wide, knees touching.
start to bring awareness to the space around you. Maybe wiggle the fingers and toes, rock the heads from side to side. When you're ready, roll on to the right side of the body. Maybe rest the hand on the left arm. Use the top arm to push yourself up and bring yourself to seated. As we bring our hands to our center and we thank our bodies for the work that they did for us today, allowing our energy for this fine 4th of July. We bring our hands to our lips and to our third eye. From the light that shines in me to the light that shines in you, we bow to one another and say, Namaste. Thank you for the privilege of being your teacher this morning. I don't know if you saw the fisherman, but it would have been so awesome if he had a fish. Did you guys see him? Yeah. He just came like walking up out of the thing. <laughs> I'm like, he should have just had a fish. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, ladies. Alana, are you still there? Still here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent.